What is going on guys? Blazing Tech here. Today I've got a really interesting video for us and we're going to be talking about the rise and the fall of the iPod Classic and how it fares today in 2018. So buckle up and let's get going. This is the fabled 160GB 7th generation iPod Classic that I've owned since day one. This iPod is covered with an anodized aluminum faceplate while the back is the original chromed steel. If you've ever owned or seen one of these, most likely it's scratched to hell. Mine has spent its entire life in a case. This particular design of iPod Classics has been around since about 2005 and that started with this, the 5th generation, also known as the iPod Video, and this comes in the classic white, in the classic white iPod look. And you can see exactly how the 5th generation differs from the 7th generation with me scrolling through here in very primitive layout, whereas my 7th generation has kind of a split screen, more refined display, and also features cover flow, and just the viewing of the media that this iPod contains is a little bit better on the newer generation. Both of these iPods come with the Wolfson DAC, and audio files from everywhere will flock to these particular iPods because they deliver the best sound quality of any iOS device. In addition to music, this iPod will also play video, at 320 by 240p on a 2.5 inch display that's LCD and LED backlit. Although it's not very fancy, it definitely gets the job done and for back in the day this was probably very revolutionary. Coupled with large capacity hard drives, the click wheels that all iPod classics have are the trademark features that just really blew all competition out of the water. The white iPod was always a pioneer of Apple, and even by today's standards, this 2005 model still looks great. At this point in the video, you must be thinking, how did such an amazing device just vanish? Well, if you didn't know, Apple cut its iPod Classic from the lineup in 2015 with no warning. At this point in time, the iPod was still rather outdated, and most saw the death of the original iPod coming. In 2018, this is definitely an outdated device. You need a 30-pin dock connector to connect this to any computer or to charge it. And the only way to play any sort of music is through the headphone jack or the 30-pin dock connector. And I don't know about you guys, but I do not know a lot of people that carry around regular old headphones. As much as I hate to admit it, I find myself using wireless earphones and my iPhone to stream music because it's just so easy and today a lot of people consume media through Spotify so the need to carry your whole music library with you is not something that a lot of people are thinking about. Although this is all true there are still many techies out there that see a need for an iPod classic in their arsenal and after all these years and I've owned this since 2012 I still can't get myself to sell my original iPod classic. The fact that you can carry your entire music library in one spot is amazing and should not be overlooked. There's something special to me about having your iTunes library full of music that you've discovered and that you've found, whether that be through CDs, LPs, or even through MP3s. I can't tell you how many times I've opened my iPod and rediscovered artists that I had completely forgot about in my vast music library. It is true that you can add your music from iTunes to any other iOS device, but I find that when I go to listen to music on my iPhone, it always just turns into background music as I spend countless hours scrolling through social media, website, or other applications. It's so satisfying to just throw on a good pair of over-the-ear headphones and just get lost in my own personal music library and enjoy charts that I've spent time collecting. There's just no better way, in my opinion, to to enjoy my music and really it sounds funny but just to become one with my iPod and my music. So no matter what the iPod Classic is going to go down as one of the greatest Apple products ever produced. It's going to always have memories with me and it's probably always going to have memories with a lot of you guys too. The Achilles heel in my opinion is the fact that there's no Bluetooth support for this iPod and in 2018 that would truly make this still a usable device. I know there's probably products out there that will go from the headphone jack to 
Bluetooth, but at this point I just kind of want to keep the integrity of the iPod and let's just let sleeping dogs lie. Anyway guys, Blazing Tech, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends. I know a lot of you guys have iPod stories and I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please support my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Thanks.